Contender Regime Boxing, checking back in with y'all, man. What's good? So George Cambosis has been forced to entertain the idea of fighting Devin Haney to actually consider a fight with Devin Haney for undisputed, all the belts, all the titles, the first four belt undisputed world champion in the lightweight history. You dig what I'm saying? This is huge stuff, man. This is huge stuff. Monumental. You feel me? Colossal. This is huge. You know? Um, now, I'm not going to hold my breath. And I'm not, you know, <laughs> I'm not acting like this shit set in stone because it's not. But I have to speak on how this shit has been playing out. Now, you know, George Cambosis has really dragged out this whole process and for no apparent reason, no credible reason. You know what I mean? We know that he beat Telefimo Lopez in an upset, became the unified champion at 135, won a fight that most people didn't think he was going to win, right? He was a heavy underdog in that fight. Mandatory for the IBF. You know, this is a guy that Telefimo was supposed to just go in there and blow out of the water. Now, up until that fight, Cambosis was talking, you know, like, man, when I get these belts, you know, I'm going to beat Lopez. I will give him that. He was confident the whole time, as you should be, undefeated. And any fighter should be confident going into a fight, period, right? But he was saying, hey, man, when I get these belts, I'm going to be a real champion. I'm going to show y'all how it's supposed to be done. I'm not going to be walking around here acting like I'm, you know, Mr. Big Shit, like Telefimo Lopez want, uh, Telefimo Lopez was after they beat Loma. You know, I'm go I want to fight the other champions. I'm not going to be ducking nobody. I ain't going to be on, on, on none of that bullshit. And as soon as he get the belts, his whole energy changed. You know, he fought and then a couple of weeks later, Devin Haney had a fight with Jojo Diaz. Another guy who was forced into fighting Devin Haney. But shout out to Jojo Diaz, you know, because he a real motherfucker. You know what I mean? He didn't have to fight Devin Haney, but he was low-key forced because the Ryan Garcia fight fell through. Ryan Garcia dealing with mental issues and shit like that. He was forced to entertain the idea of fighting Devin Haney because the fans was getting on his ass on social media. You know what I mean? And with George Cambosis, you know, he was saying stuff like, well, Devin Haney has to look spectacular not just win, not just beat Jojo Diaz. He has to look exciting or exceptional or some bullshit like that in order for me to entertain fight him. Let alone like the fact that this shit is for undisputed. He has the only belt left that you don't have to make yourself the undisputed champion. And you saying that he don't have to just win. He got to look spectacular. When I heard that. That made me like, I'm like, oh, uh, he acting a little different. I don't give a damn if he won by a split decision by uh, the hers on his chinny chin chin. I don't care if it was by, you know, if he just barely scraped by. If he won and he got the belt, I need that. But that wasn't the energy that Cambosis was having. So he quickly changed into something different. You know what I mean? He he started to get the big head and started to just act like he was, he started calling himself the emperor and all this shit. I'm like, where is this energy coming from? I thought you was one of them stand-up guys that just want to fight the best. You know, so Devin Haney goes in there. He beats Jojo Diaz. looked impressive. It was a, a, a very competitive fight, but Haney won convincingly. No controversy whatsoever um, versus a very credible guy in his prime. You know what I'm saying? Uh... Cambosis, he show up to the fight, you know, he acting all funny style and shit, talking about like, you know, well, we'll see, you know, uh, I got, I, you know, I'm gonna watch Tank fight, you know, Tank had a fight coming up at the time, we're gonna see how Tank look, you know, Loma's looking impressive, or, you know, I might want to get in there with Loma, now he's exploring his options now, at first it was about being undisputed for all the belts, you know, wanting to fight the best, and, you know, undisputed, that's what he was talking about, then it changed to, uh, let me explore my options, Right. OK. So Tank Davis, they go their own route. We know Tank Davis is a prize fighter. He's not really 
interested in fighting for belts like that. At least his team isn't. They 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 want to fight for the the biggest money or the most attractive, the most entertaining fights. That's what they on. So Tanky like, man, look, I know I can whoop Count Bosa's ass, but I ain't even thinking about them belts. You know what I'm saying? But guys like Devin Haney, he want to be great. I want the accolades. I want to. I want all the belts. I don't. I want it to be where I'm the only person in this division that can say they're a champion. That's what I want. You feel me? I want that type of respect on my name. Lomachenko, you know, has been looking impressive in his last couple of fights. Nakatani, Kome doing his thing. But then you had a whole Russia and Ukraine situation, right? So this whole time, Cambos has been pretending like Devin Haney didn't want the fight, talking about y'all ain't sending me no offer, you know, y'all ain't, you know, y'all ain't talking about the business and, you know what I'm saying, you just bluffing on social media. The whole time, Cambos is, is behind the scenes begging Lomachenko to fight him, trying to make the fight with Lomachenko. But you got the Russia and Ukraine shit happening and where... You know, Lomachenko has been shamed in the stand overseas and fighting for his country. You know, at first Loma was about to, he was getting up out that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? But people got on his ass. They like, nah, bro, that's a bad look. You're going to have to stay over there, you know, and show some, you know, show some love and support for your people. So shout out to Loma. He did the right thing. He's staying over there in the Ukraine and he handling business. You feel me? He's standing on business. I respect that. So now that that's going on, you know, damn near World War Three. You know what I mean? It took World War Three for Cambosis to get in the ring with Devin Haney or even consider getting in the ring with Devin Haney. You feel what I'm saying? So now that Loma is off the table, Tank Davis is off the table, he has nowhere else to go. He has to consider a fight with Devin Haney. So recently, in the past couple of days, um, you know, Lou DeBella, they're saying that they're currently in talks with Eddie Hearn and, and uh, Devin Haney Promotions. You dig what I'm saying? Which is awesome. Hopefully they can get this fight done, man. Like I said, I'm not holding my breath. You feel me? But I want to see this shit happen, man. I, I think it's a great fight stylistically. It's a really good matchup. Um, you know, I've broken this fight down a few different times, man. But I'll, can, you know, once, once it actually gets made, we get a date, we get a venue, we get, you know, all that good stuff, you know, then I'll go more in depth. You know, but first I want to see, I want to see this shit get posted on a flyer. I want to see a date. I want to see all that. You feel me? I don't care where they fighting at. Like Devin Haney said, I'll fight your ass on Jupiter. I don't care where it's at. I just want to see this fight happen because, uh, you know, the lightweight division is so talented, so stacked. And it's about time that we unified all the belts and we see who the hell is the best, you know, and... I think Devin Haney, more than anybody, bro, deserves an opportunity to prove that he is the best, you know, just to see, all right, am I really on this level? Can I really beat the top guys? Because until he get that opportunity, people ain't going to do nothing but continue to talk shit. They ain't going to do nothing but continue to try to discount his ability, his skills. Oh, he pillow fisted this and that. But I know this is why they don't want him to get that opportunity. Because when he go out there and he whoop on Cambos, his box his ears off, make him look like he don't belong in the ring with him. Now they have to actually respect and validate those skills that they say he don't have. Or, you know, the lack of power and all it is. They have to actually respect that shit now. You know what I'm saying? This is why they don't want that. Because all that pillow fist and shit they talking about, it don't mean nothing if you getting W's. It don't mean shit if you winning. Yeah, I got pillow fist, motherfucker, but you can't beat me, though. All that power you got, evidently, it ain't much. Because you can't win. You can't beat me. You feel me? This shit ain't about knockouts. This shit is about winning. That's what this shit, this shit about coming out with the dub. I don't care if you knock a motherfucker out. I don't care if you knock him out the ring. You know, you knock his ass to the, to the locker room. You feel me? I don't care if you box him. And make him delirious in that motherfucker. You box his ears off with, you know, have him looking around like, where the fuck he go? I don't care how you get it done. This shit about getting a victory. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments, man. Do y'all think that this fight is actually going to get made? How do y'all feel about, you know, the way Count Bosa's been moving, man? And do you think he actually going to go through with this shit, man? Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Contender Regime Boxing. I'll holler at y'all boys, man.